2027 will be the year that finally puts an end to questions like, did the Big Bang really happen? Does the universe truly belong to a god? Is there anything like the multiverse? Or is the universe we know all that exists out there? We might even answer the scary question, are there aliens in this universe or are we alone? And the man who will make this possible is Elon Musk. Reports have recently revealed that NASA and Elon Musk have been secretly developing a telescope 100 times more powerful than the James Webb Space Telescope. And the name of this project? The Nancy Grace Roman Space Telescope. This telescope is reported to be 200 times better than its predecessor, the Hubble Space Telescope. For comparison, the Hubble Telescope took around three years to capture this one picture, whereas the Nancy Grace Telescope can capture the same image in around 90 minutes. But even after being such an incredible leap in technology, this project was rejected twice by the Trump administration. But why? What is the full story behind this secret project? And how can it change the way we view the universe forever? In 2013, NASA showcased the design of this incredible telescope. But ever since this telescope was revealed, scientists all around the world have been concerned that this technology might prove Einstein's theory of relativity wrong. The discoveries made possible by this telescope would be so mind-blowing that they could completely shatter our modern theories and force us to basically start from scratch. But before any of this could happen, tragedy struck. When NASA presented the Trump administration with a proposal for this telescope, they got outright rejected on two separate occasions, forcing them to put the entire project on hold for several years. The reason behind the rejection of this project was pretty straightforward budget. The Trump administration has always been criticized for its lack of motivation to fund projects in the science sector. But now you might ask, if the project was rejected multiple times, how are we suddenly hearing about all the launch dates for this telescope? When the Trump administration rejected this proposal, NASA went straight to the US Congress, which found this project so overwhelmingly promising that not only did they approve it, but they also increased NASA's budget by 8%. This may not seem like much, but even an 8% increase in revenue means millions of dollars. The benefit of this increase in budget resulted in even more research and refinement of the telescope, enabling it to do the job of four telescopes at once. But what's so special about the technology being used inside this telescope? This telescope contains two separate instruments, the wide field instrument and the chronograph. The wide field instrument, as its name suggests, is a wide-angle lens that can cover a wide field of view. This instrument would be able to detect light coming from over 13 billion light-years away, which would once and for all answer the question, did the Big Bang really happen? The chronograph, on the other hand, works to artificially dim the lights of stars in a different galaxy to study its exoplanets and figure out whether there's any potential for life. This will help us answer questions about alien life in distant galaxies. The funny thing is, studying exoplanets was never an objective of this telescope to begin with, as initially the telescope's job was only to study dark matter and the theory of relativity. But by a stroke of luck, the National Reconnaissance Agency, a spy agency in the United States, whose job it is to constantly collect surveillance data, had a spare telescope mirror lying around. And they ended up handing it over to NASA. NASA, being NASA, added a chronograph to the mirror, as they previously did in the JWST as well, giving the Roman Space Telescope a new objective of studying exoplanets. Initially, the name of this telescope was going to be WFIRST, or the Wide Field Infrared Telescope. But after the death of Nancy Grace Roman in 2018, the first female scientist at NASA, the space agency decided to honor her memory by naming the telescope after her. Nancy Grace Roman worked with NASA in the 1950s and 1960s. She was instrumental in the development of the orbiting astronomical observatory program, which sent four telescopes into space and laid the groundwork for the amazing observatories we have in space now. She is sometimes called the mother of the Hubble Space Telescope, and it is only fitting that this revolutionary telescope is named after her. But how does Elon Musk fit into all this? If NASA uses its own rocket to launch this telescope, it would cost them around 138,000 US dollars, 
Whereas if they use SpaceX's Falcon Heavy, which can be brought back to Earth and used multiple times, it would only cost them around $24,000, which is around six times cheaper. Additionally, this rocket has the highest power out of all the rockets that have ever been sent into orbit, allowing it to travel farther and more quickly and make it to its destination much faster than before. Its 27 engines make it capable of carrying more than 140,000 pounds into space, which is roughly the equivalent of carrying five double-decker buses into orbit. This is a feat that no other rocket has ever accomplished, making the Falcon Heavy an incredible tool with the potential to revolutionize how satellites and telescopes are sent into space, which is why NASA announced on July 20, 2022, that SpaceX's Falcon Heavy would be used to send the telescope into space between October 2026 and May 2027. The launch would take place at Launch Complex 39A at the Kennedy Space Center in Florida. It would be more than fair to say that scientists all around the world are holding their breath, waiting for this telescope to enter the atmosphere so they can understand the true mystery and origin of our universe. That's it for this video, and we will see you soon in the next one.